Oh god, no, Gina! No! Oh, now the audio's skipped out. Okay, well, we got it back. <laughs> okay. Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. You're gonna call me before I fight Lance, aren't you? You're gonna call me right before the Elite Four. Oh dear. Gina. Ugh. Right, um. Hello, everybody. Yes, hello. We are in Cherry Grove City. We just left off. We've. We haven't finished the busy work, but we've done 99% of it. So, yay! It was actually it was actually really interesting. So, that was good. It didn't really feel like work. So, that's good. So, um, we are... Uh, I am considering... Because we need red scale to use waterfall. Is my volume up too high? Let me just check. Oh, no. It's, it's about right. Um, sorry. That's that's going to annoy, annoy you because the volume thing just came up. But, um, I, I'm... Because Suki, who is deposited, is on a low level, I'm gonna deposit camping and take Suki out. Um, because Suki is at a low level and really needs the, the training. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Suks for a bit. Because Suki can't evolve. It's really, it's kind of a shame. It's the problem of playing on an emulator. Izuki's not going to get that evolution, so she has to make up for it with the, the rest of the strength. So, Cherry Grove City. So we're going back to New Bark Town, and we're going to surf out, and we're going to take on the road to Victory Road. Um, I think that's all I'll have time to do today, because, you know, I still have some other stuff to do, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get to the entrance of Victory Road. And But the problem is, guys, is that you know, whilst the last few gyms, we've been over-leveled. Claire, we're about right for levels. But there is a jump uh, when taking on the Elite Four, isn't there? In this game especially, I think there is a bit of a jump in levels. And we might have to do some sort of level grinding at some point. But for now, we'll just concentrate on the, uh, on the journey. So um, we're going to stop surfing here. We could catch something in this surfing, but yeah. And this guy's going to tell us something momentous. Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your poker gear map and see. Alright, Mr. Man, I will. Because it's pretty easy to do. There we go. We are in We are in Kanto. There you go. Yeah, uh, uh, you know what? You know what? Screw you, Gina. How do you like it? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling you. I am calling you this time. Yep, you've turned this conversation around to be all about you, haven't you, Gina? It's something I, I sometimes do when talking to friends, make it all about me. I'm not that bad, you know, but, you know, it's it's something I could work on, probably. Okay, so there's an item over there we could get. I think it's a wreck handy, which is sort of worth getting, so let's do that. Let's go, big sis. I'm pretty sure there's a wreck handy over here. Oh, oh, tentacle, what you doing? Wreck handy, told you, told you so. Hi Tentacle, what you doing? Okay, so let's have a look at who we could use that wreck candy on. Who's got... Suki's got a bit of experience built up. Big Sis has a lot of experience. I mean, the twos go a bit... Ah, Wamashton. We have a winner, probably. Oh, we have Red Scale. Who cares? Um, Wamashton. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Uh, there's Bush. Oh, we need Bush to be very strong, but Bush has loads of experience. So Wamashton will be growing to level 38 using a rare candy because we don't want it clogging up the item slots no we don't uh, there you are Wormashton gonna learn anything? nah okay off we go uh, there's probably items in here but whether I... oh I'll go on I'll have a look okay well, ah! oh a slowpoke no we caught one it died it was called Liz it was a sad day for us all Moonstone! Oh, not another Moonstone! You are having a kidding! Oh, Mrs. Hudson, we still remember the Fallen. Yep. Oh, oh my god, what the fall is sudden! Jeez! <laughs> oh. and, uh, uh, uh. Yep, yep, you're just reminding me of Liz, our Fallen. Wow, Magnitude? Wow. If Magnitude didn't even kill Suki, then... You know. Sorry, I just want to see if you could use Waterfall to go down. I know you don't have to. I want to see if it's possible. Uh, rock throw. Suki is 
Oh, a bit under undercooked at the moment. Let's see if she can build up anything against this. Oh no, does this girl use Venusaur? Oh, I think she does. I think she does. I might have to do some switching around here. We're into serious battles now. These these trainers, I don't know what level they are, but I don't think you should fuck around with them. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced I should stay in here. If this thing uses Razor Leaf or even Vine Whip, you know, that's four times weak. I think I better go to um to Binder 2. Yeah, without... Who do we deposit? Uh, without, oh no, Camping's Water. Oh my god, my team is still grass weak, pretty much. If it was not for Binder 2 and, uh, and Bush, we'd be in trouble. Indeed. So, uh, I think we'll just go for the, all the flame wheels of Binder 2 here. Just give her all the... Ex or him all the experience, rather. Super speed through them. I can't be bothered to try and give anyone else it. So, um... Oh, uh, she gives us Sandstorm. Oh, well, we may as well get it. We have a separate pocket for TM. Where are you off with your Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are you a Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. I think she says it's a very advanced technique. Like, happens to be Sandstorm. It's a move that inflicts damage on both battlers. It's for advanced tra advanced trainers. I knew she said that. I know I can remember a lot of dialogue in this game. <laughs> I've played it that many times. Um, I should. I always seem to give up around this point with this game. Not because it's like too hard. Um, oh, oh, wild Pokemon alert! We could catch this. Oh, I'm so catching that. Do freaking duo. Hello. And Suki's pretty much perfect just to be the one in here. Although, I think we will kill it if we use strength, so time for a few Great Balls. No, use the Master Ball! <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna use the Master Ball. <laughs> oh, dear. You know what? When we played Pokemon Red, I think uh, my sister used... Like, I, I gave her... You burned my Suki! We caught no duo. I'm gonna call, it, call, call this one Burner, because it burned my Suki. So, Burner. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a full heal. I deposited those burn heals. Damn it! I should have kept them. I thought I'm not gonna get burned. Oh. No, I, I gave my sister a playthrough of uh, my red version of Save File, like after I'd completed it, and she used her Master Ball and a Ponyta. Sterling effort. She never did quite get it. Uh, where's my full heals? I have some. I must have just gone past them. I have a full restore. Yeah, there they are. I'd right at the top. I just went past them because I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Healed up Suki. So Sanjeet, you've uh, you've been receiving some mail in the comment sections telling you to talk about um, different things. Well, telling me to talk about them really, but but I think you have uh, something story. You've been asked to talk about um, anime. Oh, anime. Um, don't really like any animes. So well, allow me to talk about it instead. Um, anime is something that I'm not as Especially into, although there there are a select few uh, ones that I, I sort of got into. Uh, so let let me tell you. Um, uh, as a kid, I watched Pokemon lots. Um, so obviously that was an anime. Um, watched a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. That was a decent one. What really got me. Um, uh, one of the first ones actually was uh, there was a there was a. Kids, well, it was a kid. I was probably a bit old for it at the time, but I watched it anyway. Um, is that there was a on a Saturday morning? There was a kid show in the old UK. Oh, quags! Oh, I've got, got, I've got to be careful about what I'm doing as well. I can't just be dicking around and stay. I'll go to Bush. Um, is uh, the kid show morning UK? It was a, an obscure one, not one of the main ones. It was called Up on the Roof, and it was hosted by a guy called Jamie Ricketts, and later a girl joined him as well. And Jamie is a very talented um, uh, children's television presenter. I think I saw him on one of those late night sort of roulette channels where he's like presenting a roulette wheel. That's what we have, like on the on the crappy digital channels in the UK at uh, the sum that like broadcast gambling at night like just going oh what will it be will it be 21 red will it be 13 black spin the wheel oh mikey from cheshire's won. like i don't know how they get any viewers or who watches but i saw him on there and he had dead soulless eyes so it's it's a bit disappointing for someone who i think was genuinely very talented as a children's tv presenter to sadly be presenting late night like poker and roulette but 
you know, never mind. He, he's on television. He must be happy. Uh, but he was very good. But the point is, up on the roof, they, they showed an anime called Oban Star Races. Um, it's only two seasons long, and I, I think they showed it all at once. So it was sort of his one season. Um, oh, Solar oh, solar Beam just sounds awesome. And Oban Star Races, it's a bit like pod racing sort of thing. Like different, various craft race against each other there's very high tech it's all set in the future they're racing for the ultimate prize the plot doesn't make any sense but I did like the art style and um, I liked the characters when they made sense and I liked uh, the the drama and the races when they made sense sometimes they didn't make sense but um, the, mainly actually everything made sense except the plots you know and it was a really good short series Oban Star Races I got the DVDs off Amazon a few years ago because of like nostalgia and because I'd sort of forgotten the series existed until for some reason I remembered and then thought hey I'll buy the DVDs and um you know I don't watch them very often I mean I, I don't think I'll watch them again maybe for a very long time but um they're, they're, I'm glad I have them and, uh, you know I, that's an enjoyable series so um what really got me uh, back into some animes, uh, as it were, would be uh, Little Karibo's Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Because, you know, I don't need to say anything, that's just hilarious. We all know it is. I mean, you know, uploads have tailed off as they tend to do. Um, but, you know, he's certainly given us loads of laughs over the years. And it's, it's still carrying on, it's still slowly plugging along. Like, I think I preferred it a little bit earlier. I think, um... You know, I think I think it's uh, getting to be a bit of a tired old format. I mean, it's still very good. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I, I think we've we've seen the zenith and we've seen the heyday. I mean, I might be wrong. It could come back ever stronger, but um, for me, I, I think we've seen the best that that series is going to do. But that's very good. And um, watching that uh, got me to discover other abridges like. Purple Eyes What The Fuck, WTF, uh, Purple Eyes WTF, he, uh, he did a, a bridge series, he did an abridged series of One Piece, which, you know, was, was good, I just really hate the art style of One Piece, I think it looks stupid and ridiculous, but he also did one of Code, Code Geass, and his is called Code Ment, and, then, and watching his parody of Code, uh, Geass, which is called Code Ment, is hilarious and it's amazing, but watching that got me into the actual series of Code Geass. Again, the plot makes absolutely no sense. Um, frequently, sometimes it's a bit painful to watch as well, like the little bits of exposition are a bit stupid and like, oh, that's just silly. But um, generally, I, I think that's a decent issue. I mean, when you get into it, it's a decent way to pass the time. I think I got into it when I was meant to be revising for exams, as is often the way I get into things. Uh, anything looks more attractive than study, so, um, stop using water types and grass types on this team! It's, ah! Um... So... So, yeah. That is, um... I think, I think that's all the animes I ever got into. So, Oban Star Races, um... And then Code Geass. So, sorry, that's not an extensive list, really, is it? I mean, um... But someone asked me to talk about what animes I like. They listed a few animes. I've heard of none of them, I'm afraid. Um, but th those are two I quite like. I mean, I haven't watched enough to know whether they're good or not, but I, I quite like them at the time. I, I think Code Geass is very flawed. But, um, you know, there's aspects I like of it, so... There you go. I think, I think I've exhausted animes, Sanjeet. Was a uh, uh, anything else you wanted me to talk about? Um, well, someone in the... Oh, stun flicking sport. Someone in the comments said talk about sports, but I don't want to get you started on sports, really, because we'll be here all day. Oh, let me tell you about sports. Oh, God damn it. Oh, well, first of all, there is the Arsenal, the greatest team the, the world has ever seen. Um, they play in red and white, and they're fucking dynamite and all that. Uh, it's pretty... Arsenal is a English Premier League football team. Um... And uh, they, they, uh, they're the only team to have gone an entire season unbeaten, um, so they're the Invincibles, although uh, recently we've fallen on rather leaner times, we're struggling to get into the top four in a league of 20, um, because the top four get to compete in the Champions League, which is a big European competition, lots of money available for qualifying for that and the games for that. Uh, but really, we built a new stadium uh, called the Emirates Stadium. We moved from Highbury, 
And that cost a shitload of money, so we haven't been able to buy very good players of late. And, um, you know, we're, allegedly we are coming out of the, um, the spendthrift times where we're not, where we're saving money. We're, we, we seem to have a greater intent to spend money this summer. It's currently the off season, so we're trying to sign players. But, you know, we haven't signed anyone big yet, so whether we actually sign anyone big remains to be seen. There's a lot of talk about Gonzalo Higuain, who, uh, if you follow football, he's a rather handy striker. His conversion rate is very high, is, um, and I think he could really shine in the Arsenal system because we play very passing, attractive football and we'll, we'll give him a lot of chances to score goals and he tends to put those chances away if you let him. So uh, I'd, be, I'd be very happy with Higuain, uh, but negotiations are ongoing and it's, it's torturous following it, so I won't go into too many details, but allegedly we're going to try and spend some money this summer. A, a chant on the terraces has been spend some fucking money, so that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> allegedly. I'm not convinced. Um, so that's football. Uh, uh, you know, I, I got into football by following England, really, before Arsenal, uh, which is about... A, I, I started following England in 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea, and that was a fun World Cup. I enjoyed it a lot, and I thought England were rather good. Um, and I, Then there was Euro 2004, where we started off crap against France. Um, stop. How many Starmies? Seriously. I mean... Really? That many Starmies? Okay, yeah, sure. I'll go to Bush in case it carries Thunderbolt or something ridiculous. Um, so, uh, the 2004 World Cup, we, we, uh, we narrowly lost to current... Well, they weren't world champions then. They were, the, they were still the European champions, France. We lost in the first game, but then we won our next two games. We thought we were all that. We thought we were going to be good. Wayne Rooney had just burst onto the scene, and he was looking red hot. And then we, we lost to Portugal on penalties in a really good game, actually, but that was disappointing. And then for the 2006 World Cup in Germany, I started to believe England were going to win. I was at an age where I bought into the hype. Like, every year the English national football team gets hyped up, like, massively hyped up. Like, well, like, they'll say, the press will just say, we're the greatest team ever, even though we're clearly shit. I mean, we, we are so awful, but we, we just blind and don't see it. The press want to be tub-thumping and God save the Queen and English and all that. So, um, yeah. So, we, we're not. We, I've stopped with the power la 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 sing. So, I, I bought into that fake hype in 2006, and we were awful all tournament. And once again, we got knocked out by Portugal after playing four horrendous games before that. How we got as far as we did in that tournament, I'll never know. Then we failed to qualify for Euro 2008, just um, proving our status as being utter toilet in football. Oh, magnitude 5, you kidding. I don't even want to stay in in case I die. I will, though. I think it's time to be brave here. Don't kill me with double kick. Don't crit me. Oh, you did, you horrible little queen bitch. Oh, oh, you fully paralyzed me. Oh, you fiend, you vile creature. Oh, I don't even know who to go to. Big sis, big sis. Oh, my, oh, whoa, oh, that was horrible. Uh, as was watching England, and still is rather horrible watching England. 2010 World Cup we qualified for in, like, record style, maybe, with Fabio Capello, and everyone thought we were going to be good again. But then in the warm-up games for the World Cup, we looked a bit shit. And then in the World Cup, well, if you saw it, I don't need to tell you how diabolically terrible we were. We looked like we'd never played football before. Um, and that pretty much, we went to the... It doesn't quite bring us up to now, because it was Euro 2012, which was... Basically, England went into that tournament with the mentality, let's not embarrass ourselves. And they didn't embarrass themselves that much. They had a shocking draw with Italy in the quarterfinals, which is where we got knocked out, where basically we looked quite good for 12 minutes and then didn't have the ball for the remaining, like, 80. So following England is not a barrel of laughs. We've, uh, we don't look so good currently. Um... We we look a little, we look okay um, at times. We beat Brazil at home, and uh, Jackie Wilshire, an Arsenal player, tore Brazil to frickin' shreds. But most of the time, England just look shit. 
and it's really not fun to watch them play. We do not play the beautiful game. Um, it's horrible to watch England uh, at the moment, really. Even when we we get we get decent results, it's just we still look bad when we do it. So, oh, so English football, Arsenal um, and England, and England suck. So, <laughs> um, even though Arsenal aren't quite that good. Um, at least they're better than England, I would say. Um, Gina Picnic is going to call us, and I've been talking about football, well, not for the full 20 minutes, but this part has been going on for 20 minutes, so what do you say we call it uh, quits for now, Sandy? Uh, I think that's a good idea, Nigel. Thank you for watching. If you didn't enjoy talk about anime and football, then next time there won't be any talk about anime or football. But I might talk about some other sports, you know, quickly. We can do the cricket, and Andy Murray winning, that was good, and everything, and, um... I don't know. We will see what I'll talk about next time. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Please tune in next time. I promise I won't let him ramble on for too long. Shut up, Sanjeev.